What have you done, Spirit Eater? Your hunger remains within you, but stronger, more controlled. You're in my mind. Like the Founder's voice. How are you doing that? Merkel's essence lives in you, enslaved to the hunger of the wall, like a twisted mockery of a god. You sickening wretch! I loved you, and you. You spat upon everything my mother worked so hard to accomplish. Betrayer. Akachi wore that title unfairly. You've earned it. And so the evidence of your choice is now revealed for all to see. You are a thing, a creature that now threatens not only us, but all spirits, all dreams everywhere. I cannot allow you to exist. Selfish as I am, what you have become, it must be ended here. No, do not. <laughs> the more painful your death. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! You will not indulge your hunger in my realm, under this sky. Do you understand what you have become? Akachi hungered because he had no choice. But you, Spirit Eater, you have welcomed his emptiness into your soul, made it one with your will. I warn you, Spirit Eater, by your very existence, you have declared war upon the plains. Gods shall hound your steps. You shall know no peace. If fear is the coin you prize, then yes, you will have it. But not here, not in my gray city. Be gone from this place, Spirit Eater. Wander as you will, but you shall find no haven, save that which you make for yourself. My realm holds no solace for one such as you. When gods and men have passed from the plains, and all has fallen into dust, I think you will wander still. And so you turned your back on my gray city, and chose a path that led you far from my realm. You became the very monster that I had hoped you would destroy. A greater threat to order than Akachi had ever been. For you had mastered your hunger, and its power was no longer a threat to you. I do not know what door you took from my realm, but the vengeance that you wrought upon those who had wronged you was terrible indeed. In Rashomon, the town of Molsentir was reduced to a groaning, soulless waste. The surrounding lands were drained of spirits, and fell blackened and dead. Of all who had lived in Molsentir, only a tiny company of actors walked alive from the carnage. But their bodies were soulless husks, endlessly hissing your praises with dry, rasping tongues. In the Astral Plain, you devoured countless cities of the Githyanki race, sparing only their children which you delivered in chains to the feasting chambers of their mortal enemies, the Mind Flayers. Some tales allege that you hunted down those of your companions who had betrayed you in the past, even those who were already dead. You tracked them to the plains where they had gone to their rest and gorged upon their souls. Your loyal pet, one of many, remained always at your side. You would occasionally permit your monster to feed if the knowledge of a particular foe served your needs, and that enemy's voice would join the many and become your slave. 
In time, the gods themselves rose against you, assembling a great host and cornering you in the Plain of Shadow. I was not part of that host, but I know that the gods were fewer in number when the battle was done. Of you, Spirit Eater, there was no sign. Some of the gods claimed victory and returned triumphant to their thrones. But most agreed that you had escaped their wrath, passing beyond the boundaries of their sight to worlds where the gods do not hold sway. Whether you will remain in distant worlds and forge an empire of your own, or return to the realms to seek a darker legacy still, that story is yet to be told. <laughs>